Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I wanted to go over some of the fall winter collection that has just been launched from Louis Vuitton, Dior, and Bottega. So I will show you all the bags, including prices and everything. I will put pictures on the screen as we go through them. First off, let's take a look at what's new with Dior. I noticed that they just came out with a few uh, new bags. The first one that we have here is the Dior Tujour bag. La borsa si chiama Tujour. Maria Grazia ha realizzato questa forma a barchetta che potesse essere indossata da diverse occasioni. È stato fatto uno studio attento dei materiali per dare dolcezza e morbidezza alla borsa. Si inizia con il lavorare un macro canage. Grazie all'alta qualità si è riusciti a dare il canage più vaporoso però non perdendo l'iconosità del disegno stesso. Nella parte laterale ci sono due strisce di pelle che all'estremità hanno le due iniziali di Christian Dior che unite insieme vengono a chiudere la borsa. Anche i metalli sono molto importanti e troviamo il charm iconico, un doppio anello che unisce i due quadranti nella parte centrale e poi è stata inserita una tasca volante all'interno con il motivo canage nella dimensione iconica. Ed è anche pratica per i maniglie da poter portare la borsa sia a mano sia anche a passa spalla. It comes in three different sizes, the small, medium, and large. This one looks like a tote bag. It doesn't look like it comes with the long crossbody strap. It only comes with the two shoulder strap. The shoulder straps are adjustable. If you shorten it, you can wear it on the crook of the arm, you can handheld it, or you can lengthen the straps and to wear it as a shoulder bag. They are in calf skin with the macro canage. The canage is the Dior signature quilting pattern. And this one seems to be a little bit bigger than the typical canage. It does have the CD lock and the strap closure and it also have the Dior charms in the front which is very classic of Dior. Inside it does have the removable interior pouch. They have some very neutral colors for this winter. I see beige, tan, black, white, and gray. Dior is known to have beautiful color selection. I'm pretty sure coming up for the spring, they will have more colorful pieces. But right now, because we're in winter, all the pieces are a little bit darker in colors. I do love the current um, selection of colors though. It looks very spacious on the inside. Um, it doesn't have the zipper on the top. So you don't have full closure for this bag. However, it does have the strap that cross over on the top so you can kind of have a little bit of uh, security. You can cinch it in on the side to give it a little bit of a different shape, kind of similar to the Louis Vuitton Never Full. It looks like a very casual tote bag. The small is priced at 3,500. The medium is 3,900 and the large is 4,400. These are not cheap. I don't think any of the Dior bags are cheap. Also the fact that these bags are in full leather. So maybe that's why the prices are a bit high. Um, what do you guys think about this bag? I think it's very simple, no bell and whistle. It is a little bit on the pricier side, but again, it is Dior. I also see the seasonal saddlebag with all the stud and it's currently retail at 6,200. The saddlebag has been reintroduced for a couple of years now. And I think for a little while, I was contemplating on maybe getting one myself. I think it's okay. It's not everyone's cup of tea. And I think after I slept on it for a little while, I decided to not get it and I have no regrets. And then we do have, of course, you know, a lot of Dior book tote. I think I like the classic Dior book tote better. These are in beige and blue macro canage embroidery. The book tote, it's also a piece that was very popular and something that I pass on as well. I like the look of the large, but I feel like the large is something that I could only use for travel. But then I already have the tote bag from Chanel, so there's really no need for me to get the tote bag from Dior as well. So that's why I never really got it, but I do think that it's a great piece. If I don't already have my tote bag from Chanel, then the Dior tote bag is something that I would definitely consider. The large tote bag is retail at $3,500. The tote bag comes in so many patterns, so many different designs. If that's something that you're interested in, there's plenty of variation for you to choose from. But the tote bag is nothing new. 
this one is a new bag that I haven't seen before. It's the Boston bag. Uh, comes in two different sizes. It comes in the small and the medium. Uh, the shape of this one looks similar to the Kelly. It does have the handle on the top with the shoulder strap. From looking at the side of the bag, it looks a little bit more boxy. It is in black box calfskin. The box leather is known to be very smooth and shiny. However, it is also very delicate in my opinion. It's one of those leathers that looks very luxurious. However, very prone to scratches. I'm typically not a fan of the box leather because I think it's a little bit too high maintenance for me. It has a double flap on the top uh, that is secure by a CD clasp and it has a very spacious interior. It has a handle which allows you to carry by hand on the crook of your arm, but it also comes with an adjustable strap so that it allows you to be hands-free when you need to. I might have to check this one in the store just to see how it looks in person. From the first glance, it looks very sleek and very elegant, but do I have to have it? Not at the moment, but I don't know, you know, with a lot of these bags, sometimes, you know, the more you see them, the more they grow on you. And then we have the 30 Montaigne that are in the small size. It comes in the blue, oblique print, black calf skin, beige, pink. Next up, let's take a look at Bottega. So Bottega has a lot of new bags that they just launched or have launch recently. We're going to briefly take a look at them, um, not individually because I think it would be too lengthy. The first one is the East West um, Andiamo and it comes in different sizes and uh, typical weaving from Bottega. It does have the shoulder strap and the handle. Um, so another tote bag. This one has like the infinity bowl in the front, comes in different sizes. Uh, it is also quite pricey in the 4000s. And of course we have the Jody. The Jody is not a new bag. It has been around for a little while. I actually was contemplating on the mini Jody, but then I never went through with it. It uh, looks like they just came out with another size, um, the candy size. So I think the candy size is like a little micro bag. The mini Jody is already a mini bag and the candy looks like it's a very micro bag. Um, maybe a tiny little pouch and retail for a $17.50. It looks way smaller than the mini and the mini is already small. And you know, of course they have the teen, they have the small, medium, even though for the winter, they still have colorful bags. So they have a lot of pastel colors from purple, yellow, green, sea foam, blue, etc. This one is a new bag. It is the mini tote bag for 2200. So it's like one of those irregular shape <laughs> tote bag. Um, yeah, I am not a fan of that one. And this one is also new. It's called the hop bag and it comes in small and large. The small is retail for 3100 and the large is retail for 4400. The large looks super huge. It's probably like one of those travel weekender bag and maybe the small would be a little bit more ideal for every day. Not my cup of tea either, but I think they do have some cute colors though. This one I like the sardine. Sardine, it's been out for a couple of seasons now. Um, so it's not new new, but it is somewhat new to the brand. It's only been around for a couple of seasons. And this season, it comes out with the mini, the small, medium, and also has the hobo. The hobo is the newer take of the classic sardine. The sardine bag is very similar to the Jody. The mini Jody has a leather handle with a knot. And this sardine has the metal handle that is in the shape of a sardine. <laughs> when I first heard the name sardine, it kind of turned me off a little bit, but this is one of those bags that the more I look at them, the more I start to be drawn to them. So I did see this one in person a little while ago, and I quite like it to be honest. I think it's very unique, and I think the sardine handle is actually pretty cute, <laughs> um, surprisingly. Maybe in like the mini size, I think it would be really cute. Um, the hobo, I don't know, the structure, the shape of the hobo is a little bit off for me. Yeah, I don't quite like the size of the hobo. And it comes with a really hefty price, 5300 Whereas the mini size is 3100 The small is 4200 Medium is 4900 I think right now the two that I like the most is still the Jody bag. 
or the sardine. They're very similar. So it's like one or the other for me, not both. So there's a bag called the Wallace. It's kind of like under the arm bag that a lot of brands are doing right now. And it's retail for 2200 It looks like it only comes in the mini size, the boleto. The style is really old looking. Um, it's nothing exciting, nothing fun, or nothing unique about it. I think it looks a little bit boring. The bucket looks like a new style in like a very bold weaving. It's not the flat weaving. And the price is so crazy on this one. $5,900 or $7,300 for these two. And I think that's just insane. We have a couple pieces in denim from the cassette to the tote bag to the pouch and camera bag. These bags are not new. It's just in a new material they have the drop bag which has been out for i think one or two season if i'm not mistaken it's like a big hobo shoulder bag they have a couple they call it the mava the mini has a shoulder strap and the regular size has the top handle and then it has a couple tote bag this is new very different from a typical bottega these looks like canvas tote bag with a little bit of leather trimming and leather pouch out in the front. I'm not sure about the prices on these. I think they are kind of steep for what it is. And then we have the Castello, which is um, like a bucket bag with the uh, with the Bottega weaving. Um, it comes in the small, medium. It looks a little bit boring to me too. The Falcon is also a new bag. It comes in the small and the medium and the design I think is just okay. Nothing too special and it's quite expensive. So that's a no for me. It also comes in the clutches as well. We have the regular cassette bag which just has like this big weaving crossbody kind of bag and then there's also a padded cassette bag. But these are not new. These have been around as well. And uh, I think there we have it. It's hard to keep track with uh, what's new with Bottega because there are just so many bags. The one that I like, it's definitely the Sardine or the Jody, which is not that new new. It's been around. I don't see anything that really interests me that much for this collection. But yeah, what do you guys think? Is there anything from Bottega that stood out to you? Is there anything that you guys are interested in?
right, next up we have Louis Vuitton. They just launched a new collection for this season and it includes a lot of different handbags, different style, but one thing that I noticed is the pattern that they use. It's the Malitage crossing pattern and the Malitage is not a new pattern to Louis Vuitton. So they have been using this pattern since ages ago, since the start of their brand on out of the trunk. When you open the trunk, the pattern that is used for the interior of the trunk is called the Malitage pattern. And right now they brought that into the design of the new bags and they use that pattern for the exterior of these bags. And a lot of them comes in lambskin. The new design, it's called the Go 14. the pico size which i assume is the mini and then it comes in the mm which is the medium and the gm is the large the quotient is padded so it's very puffy in lambskin and uh, with the signature lv twist lock it does have the handle and the crossbody strap the pico size is 4450 the mm size is 6750 and the gm size is 7450 so they are quite expensive we also have the vanity case in the same pattern comes in different color i see black navy blue also white with the black contrasting brown so the alma comes in the alma bb and the alma mm which i actually did try the mm in the store it is quite a big bag the quilts are padded so it makes it a little bit bulkier too i think the bb size is a better size for me at least we have the orsay the neverfull and the limited edition Oh, look at this one. We have the Petite Mall. They call it Petite Mall Capital. The Petite Mall is something that I've always wanted. I did not see the Petite Mall Capital in the store when I was there last week, but they have this one for 7,000. It's similar to the classic Petite Mall. And you can see inside of the Petite Mall, it also has the Malitage pattern too. So that's where the inspiration for uh, the quilting came from. So it comes with the handle that looks similar to the Lady Dior, but it also comes with the two straps. One is the braided strap and the other one is just a leather strap. It does have the handle, which is kind of convenient. If you don't use the strap, then you can carry the classic petite mall like a clutch. But this one, the Capital, you can carry it with the handle. I think that might make a, a difference on the functionality of the bag, but it is, it is $7,000, so yeah. I don't know, but at that price, I probably won't be able to justify. We have the Lexington pouch. It looks like a license plate. Uh -huh. Crossbody pouch, clutch, whatever you want to call it. That's a no for me. We have this multicolor croissant bag in like a pink, red, blue monogram over white. For that combination, I think it's only for the season, so it is limited. The same combo also comes in the Petite Mall. I think it looks, you know, very different and special. Oh, and then we have the also the Dauphine Capital. You know, Dauphine has been out for a couple years already, so it's not new. I think it's been since 2020-ish, around there. But the Dauphine Capital is just a new take. The Dauphine collection is really popular. 
at one point but it's not it's not something that i'm interested in i just don't like the buckle in the front there you have it so this is everything from louis vuitton i think the gold 14 is the collection that louis vuitton is gonna try to push it is full leather you know really expensive bag i think this bag is gonna do well though because it does have a lot of the classic aesthetics with the lambskin the quilting the shoulder strap the handle everything i think the bag is a great bag would i buy it Probably not because I think it's quite expensive. It doesn't wow me enough for me to want to spend six, seven thousand on this bag. But who knows? Again, they might grow on me. So yeah, you just never know. Right now, looking at the new collection, there's really nothing that I am interested in. I think the next time I buy something from Louis Vuitton, it's probably gonna be the Capucine. I did try on a lot of different capucine last week when i went to the mall and i did a vlog too so i will link it up here the next one that i want is the petite mall yeah i think those are the two that i have in my mind right now but with the new collection nothing really uh caught my eyes is there anything you guys are interested in with the new collection from louis vuitton let me know in the comment below but otherwise, that is everything I want to show you guys for today's video. There are so many brands and so many bags that comes out every season. So I can't possibly include everything in one video. It would be too lengthy. So I figure I'll just break them down into maybe, you know, different brands. I recently did a um, winter collection for Chanel. So today I am doing the new collection for Dior, Bottega, and Louis Vuitton. So maybe, you know, I'll do another one for some of the other brands. Um, let me know if you guys like these contents and then I will continue to make them. But that would be all for today's video. I hope that you enjoy. And as usual, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Also, click on that bell notification so that you get notified the next time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye now.